Hey Down Base, it's Dave Decide. Today we are getting a small rumor that I saw online about RM and his Billie Eilish concert, and we are going to squash it right away. I also want to get into BTS getting threatened by a teacher and RM being mocked online. So, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, grab a dumpling, and see spilling book merch, and let's get into it. One of the things that I hold dear to me is this idea that people should stand their ground and stay behind what you do. If you're going to do something, do it with your whole chest and mean it. And if you screw up and it's a bad thing, then you apologize. However, what is the scenario or call of action if you didn't do anything wrong, but people are interpreting your actions as wrong or twisting it into something that it's not? The way the K-pop fandom often deals with this is then they'll attack the source for something they misinterpreted or is causing hate rather than just dealing with the hate. So what am I talking about? Recently, there had been some viral tweets online where people were posting pictures of BTS members on Twitter and often Oftentimes they'll want to do this thing where you upload four parts of a big picture and then the way Twitter does it is they'll have a collage preview that will piece together all four pictures to make this bigger picture, similar to what Jungkook is doing on his Instagram. And so these things innately, there's nothing wrong with it. Anyone can and should be allowed to do this and it's a lot of fun and very creative. But similar to how maybe Jungkook would even struggle making his IG account this huge collage, it's not easy and everyone will mess it up. So oftentimes when it is messed up, the members' photos can look a little wonky in the preview. For example, someone did RM and it appeared like RM was missing a neck. Of course, haters of BTS and RM jumped at the opportunity to mock RM for not having a neck. And this is such an unexpected and cheap blow to an idol by the haters, mocking a collage and not even a real edit or a real picture. Of course, the original person who made the mistake ended up getting a lot of hate and saying their picture or mistake caused all this hate to RM. And if RM RM jumped online, he will see people mocking him. But one, I think he can look at the collage and laugh because he knows he doesn't actually look like that. He's not insecure about that, I don't think. And then other people were saying that the original post and this causing the members to get mocked is a reason why Jungkook never likes to post anymore. And this is all ridiculous. The original person who posted it is not responsible for the mass response. He or she did not post this picture or collage with the intent of mocking BTS. If people mock after that point, it is not anyone's fault except the awful people that wanted to mock RM. I see so many comments on Twitter like, delete that post. Don't tell people what to do. In fact, saying that will make people never want to delete the tweet. Also, side note, I think it's so messed up when mocking RM for not having a neck. They use this picture of a guy from 90 Day Fiance with no neck. Some people don't have a visible neck or a less prominent one. If you don't like that, that's okay, you move on. Using this picture as a way to mock someone who has this and to say they're ugly is really messed up. From clips I've seen of this guy in 90 Day Fiance, he seems really nice. The only reason people mock him is because of how he looks. I've always found that kind of messed up. Anyway, if BTS is getting mocked over fan-made content, then I think they will be okay because none of it is actually who they are. And I think the members themselves, if they log on to social media, they can see that and they won't be hurt by it. It's like if you play a character on TV and then people are mocking that character and saying they're rude or mean, you'd be like, yeah, that character is mean, but it's not who I am. However, a person that did seem to mock BTS and one that I will throw a slight bit of shade on is allegedly a teacher in India. The teacher was caught allegedly saying some really inappropriate and bad things about BTS. I do want to emphasize that I don't speak the language that he is speaking, and I don't know how accurate the translations are. However, the story has been reposted by several news sites, but take it with a grain of salt. Allegedly, a professor I believe was doing a Zoom lesson and BTS got brought up. He went on a rant about how he wanted to slap the person who brought up BTS and if they were a man, he would grab them by the collar and slap them. Then proceed to go and call BTS semi-homophobic things and saying they're just men in lipstick and all that. He did proceed to say they were great dancers and all that, but it was interpreted as sarcasm. But I don't know if it was or not. I tend to think the best in people. However, the previous comment would void any compliments that the professor would give. BTS is not the only celebrity in the world that has ever worn makeup. Michael Jackson wore a lot and he sure as heck has worn things like eyeliner and lipstick before. People like Prince, people like Elton John who wear wigs and colorful clothes and is actually gay but rarely gets mocked for that. However, BTS is mocked for a similar action and practice that every celebrity does. Mind you, in BTS American debuts like Dynamite, Butter, and Permission to Dance, the boys are not wearing eyeliner or lipstick because they know that the American market doesn't like it. They only wear that 
that stuff during their Korean shows and songs. The makeup is just marketing, it's not that deep, and it shows a bit of racism as well. These alleged comments are quite triggering. To say that they would hurt someone for being a fan is quite odd. After reading some of the comments and some people who said that they were in that class as well, the full story did come out. One person said that the conversation of BTS didn't just appear out of nowhere, and it's not like the teacher just unprompted started ranting. But apparently an ARMY had written in the chat asking if there were any ARMYs in the class. Of course, this pissed the professor off because everyone is supposed to be taking notes. But there's ways to deal with a situation like this that is professional and not triggering. You can't say you're going to hit someone. But what I would have said would be something along the lines of, hey, this is not BTS time, let's go back to this. Also, it would be one thing to say something in passing, like I don't like them. But to go on for a few minutes and rant on this instead of getting back to teaching is a lot. Like, why is this so triggering for you to be angry? I think the army who prompted BTS had no business doing that, and I think in some ways that army can take some blame. But if the teacher threatened the student, that is not okay. And if this is what they would say to an army who likes BTS, I can't even imagine how he would feel if BTS was in front of him. They are men, so would you grab their collar and hit them? It doesn't just feel like a threat to army, but one to BTS as well. Just my thoughts here. I urge you to watch the video yourself and make your own assumption. A lot of clips are being shown online of several BTS related things, and I think it was kind of swept under the rug that the two BTS members attended a Billie Eilish concert. I think Billie's biggest fans in BTS are probably RM and J-Hope. J-Hope's new music definitely had a Billie style to it, so I am not surprised to hear he attended a Billie concert, especially since Billie was doing her world tour in Korea. RM and J-Hope didn't hide too much. They were pretty out and open about being there. They didn't sit down the entire time. They were up, they were cheering and making noise, and so of course it didn't take too long for people to notice who was there. I'm also glad that they're at the point where they can feel comfortable and okay being more loud and open about supporting other artists. But another small rumor started to circulate when people were wondering if any other K-pop idols attended the show too. It was found out that not too far away, some of the Red Velvet members were spotted and people were freaking out. The last time BTS had some sort of interaction with Red Velvet was probably at an award show and now people are excited for some new things. Although no one seemed to catch any videos or photos of Red Velvet and BTS interacting, people do believe that behind the scenes they were interacting, but we don't know that. It was alleged a long time ago that RM was dating Wendy from Red Velvet, who was at the concert. But that was an April Fool's joke that a new site did and it wasn't real. So rumors about Wendy and RM getting together and then being at the concert, no, that's not true. Most of the footage, videos, and pictures that were taken were by fans and by people who were sitting within the areas of BTS. So that is fine. Those I wouldn't consider illegal pictures. People kept saying the pictures are bad, but everyone at a concert is being recorded. When you record the audience, you're recording someone. And J-Hope and RM are aware that they're being recorded. For the Harry Styles concert that BTS was at, so many people recorded and posted pictures and videos of them, and there was no issue with that. The members also have never specified a rule on not taking pictures of them at concerts. So stop attacking people for this. None of these people who took the photo and video were stalker fans. They were Billie Eilish fans who happened to see BTS at the concert. And they were there at the concert to record celebrities. So that is just my opinion. But what do you think? Do you think that these are illegal private videos and pictures of BTS at the concert? Or do you think they had an interaction with Red Velvet and are they quote unquote dating? I think personally that is ridiculous. And of course, how do you feel about fans posting online causing people to mock BTS? And how do you feel about the alleged teacher mocking BTS. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.